question is, how can I drastically improve my workflow with my DAW? Answer, actually in many ways. Make sure for instance to check this video I made on the use of templates, link above. Actually, one of the most practical ways to do that, which has really blown up my mind recently, is Game and Mouse. Just a couple of months ago, I made a video on these um, two mice. I've tested the Kensington Trackball mouse and the Zelotus T90. Interesting mice, you know, but still not the best, not really compelling for my purposes. After some more researches, I finally found what I'm looking for, which is this one. Stick with me. So let's dive straight in. I'll let you see how I've set this Logitech G600 to speed up my working logic. So let's start with these 12 buttons here. First, switch between arrangement window and piano roll. Second, repeat event. Actually, I have to create an event and then repeat it. Um, this one, activate scissor tool. You know, you go in the, uh, in the piano roll, you write something here and then you press this one and activate the scissor tool. Scissor, okay. Then if I want to come back to the um, pointer, the other one, pointer. Then we have um, number five, select all, and then Q for quantize, like I have these guys here, not quantize. Then I press this one, boom, quantize. Then we have, uh, what else, um, transpose up or down with the other one, up and down. Then I can uh, um, capture, record something like that. Capture recording this one. Okay, great. Then we have bounce in place. This one, bounce in place. I'm not going to do the, the bounce in place operation now, but anyway, uh, if I move this region uh, from this place to, from the strings um, folder to another track like uh, this one, just wait for a uh, contact uh, instrument to load in, then uh, I can go with these two buttons here for naming uh, this region by track name. Boom. And then color region by track color. Yes. Now moving up here. Um, so these three buttons, one, two, and three, um, have been assigned to the main three tools you have here in the main um, arrangement window in Logic. So, um, the left button here is left click. The middle button here is, uh, I've set it up here for the pencil tool and I create with the pencil and the right button for um, scissor tool. The scroll wheel uh, can move also right and left. So right, I've set right for cut this way. And I've just left uh, the left uh, direction here, just unassigned, disabled. Now this button here, open and close uh, the instrument plugin. So we go here, then I press this one and it should open, yeah. Uh, in this case, contact. Come on, yeah, contact, close, thanks. Whereas in contact, when I press this button here, um, I've just assigned it to a macro I've created using Keyboard Maestro, which helped me to, let's say, uh, do the batch and clear output operation, section operation contact in this way. Yes. 
and it activates this macro. So we have, in the end, 2020 assignable buttons. Because actually, I've not told you about that uh, 20th magic button, which is called the so-called G-Shift. When you press it, you'll have another new layer of 20 assignable buttons. What? Yes, I'm not kidding. It works as kind of all sucks control command shift or whatever so actually this logitech g600 has got not just 20 but 40 40 assignable buttons it could drive you crazy so for my money this mouse is just you know just amazing i mean i'm sure it is amazing for soft for the purpose um for which it it has been created you know um that is gaming right but since I'm not a gamer, not at all. Um, I can give you my impressions just for its use in the music production field like that. Now, before wrapping all that up, uh, I'd like to have a really quick look um, to the software this mouse came up with, which is called G-Hub. And you can download it for sure straight away uh, from the Logitech official side because you know uh, this mouse would be just an useless bit of plastic you know uh, without a proper software um, to manage it and here we are I just want to mention that with it um, you can really do pretty much whatsoever uh, operation sign and programming operational you'd like to you can from here pretty much change all the behavior of your um, favorite buttons here in uh, the front of the mouse or here in the on the side and assigning uh, to them um, any keys you want to and actions uh, system commands or system movement directions and so on and so forth or even create your own macros like that let's see um, macros here create macro then you can type the name test then you can choose uh, among no a uh, no repeat macro repeat while holding toggle and sequence like you can choose here uh, what sort of command like that record a stroke okay so like for instance in this test on press I have set uh, uh, command plus G while holding I'll set uh, key I don't know what and on release I I want to set a uh, um, left button click mouse here oh by the way on the product package and even on Amazon actually um, you'll find that this G600 um, works only for Windows operating system, but the Logitech website tells us another story. It works instead with all Mac, all Apple uh, devices as well. So what's the truth? Well, I'm a Mac guy and it works just perfectly. So thanks ever so much for watching this um, quick look at Logitech G600 gaming mouse. G600 mouse, not only for gamers. Anyways, man, um, I hope you enjoyed all that. Make sure to subscribe um, if you haven't done already and ding that bell to be notified every time um, I put a new overview film music episode um, sample library walkthrough uh, virtual music uh, compositions or whatever the shit would be hope to see you soon take care